Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our Views back with another video. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to ask you guys for a huge favor. Recently, I have noticed that most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to my channel. So it would really help out a lot if you could subscribe to the channel, of course, while watching these videos. Just make sure you hit the subscribe button right down below. And of course, leave a like on the video. Now, in today's video, I will show you guys some super useful iPhone apps that I believe every iPhone user must download and have them on their device. These are very useful. You can download them for free and of course will help you do a lot of tasks on your iPhone. Now we're starting things off with Toolbox. Now Toolbox is an app that has a lot of tools included on it and allow you to do a lot of things like convert photos, live photos to MP4s, or maybe compress and scale photos or convert between different formats. You can convert here MP4s to GIFs or live photos to GIFs and of course videos as well. Convert, convert to MP4, compress videos, make them smaller in size, or just extract the audio out of a video. And of course, also unzip and archive different files. Now let's try one here. So let's go with a live photo and turn it into a GIF file. So just tap here to load the photo from the library. So once you have loaded the photo, this is what you will see. This is a live photo, which now by tapping next, we can go ahead and convert it into a GIF file. So you can see right here, we can go with high quality. And of course, we can set here the seconds at the max. And of course, we have here the resolution as well. You can go with max just like that and tap the finish button and you're good to go. Now, this photo will be extracted as a GIF file file as easy as that so a really incredible app with a lot of tools allowing you to do a lot of things with photos and videos as well next up is record time now this is a camera app which is really unique because it shows you how much time you have left to record on your iPhone. This is a feature that probably should be on the stock camera app of your iPhone, but it's not. So you will have the basic controls here, nothing fancy, but you will get this bar right there that shows you how much time you have left to record with the current free storage that you have on your iPhone. And right here, we'll also see the current battery level of your iPhone, which is really great and very, very useful. So what you will have here is the record button. Of course, you can switch the cameras, turn on and off the flashlight, and right here, you can change the resolution. Now notice right there, now it's at four hours, but if I change to 4K, it's now at two hours and 40 minutes. 4K, 30 frames per second, even less. And of course, 4K, 60 frames per second, just 54 minutes. So it shows you basically how much you can record in every possible resolution that your iPhone supports. Next up is Profile Maker. Now this is a free app that allows you to easily create your profile pictures for any of your social, like media, anything you have, Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter, whatever. Now, of course, all of these now have those circular photos on the profile, so you can go ahead and create your own one from here. So you will have the badges one, basically the circles that have a badge, and you will have here all kinds of different categories, which of course you can go ahead and choose from them, and apply them to your profile picture. So just choose whatever you want to use here. So let's just go with this one and load the photo from the camera roll simply by tapping here. Once you have loaded the photo, of course, you can resize it, move it around. And of course, you can go ahead and change the colors here. So you can pick any color you want there. And you can even add filters. And if you go to frame, you can also choose the other frames and see how they look on your profile picture. And of course, you can even rotate this you can see how cool that looks and once you're done you tap the save button and now you have a really great profile picture to post on your social media as easy as that with a few simple steps you can create amazing pictures for your profile next up is music match now music match is an app that allows you to easily find the music that you want on the app that you want so right here i have set spotify as of course my preferred music service you can change it from here and once you're done with this basically you go maybe someone sends you a link from apple music or another service it will basically let you find that very easy on the current like music streaming service that you prefer so if i just go ahead and copy the link here of one of the songs and just open the app it will automatically find it for me on the spotify app so right there it shows the link tap open in spotify and just like that it will show me the song that i got the link to in the preferred music service that i want 
The next app for the video is called Screenshot. This app is amazing. It allows us to stitch screenshots together. So if you have a few screenshots, maybe of a conversation or a web page, you can stitch them together and turn them into one screenshot. But the amazing feature we're talking about here is scrolling screenshot. This basically allows us to take a long screenshot on any app anywhere on iOS. And with iOS, you can take a screenshot only of a full web page on Safari, but that is also saved into PDF, not a picture. But with this app, what you can do is simply go to the app where you want to take the screenshot, go to the control center, 3D touch on the screen recording, make sure that you have screenshot selected right here and tap on start broadcast. And once it shows right there that it's recording, all you have to do is just start scrolling on the page where you want to take the screenshot and everything will be actually done by the app automatically. Just like that, make sure you have basically scrolled slowly, tap right there, tap on stop, and now you're good to go. You go back into the app and right here, you will actually have your screenshot that you just took. And just like that, you can have a screenshot of any page you want on iOS. Of course, you can crop it right there or just tap save to save it under the camera roll. The next app for the video is called Checkup. Now, Checkup allows you to search for any username on all of the famous social media and of course, see if that's available or not. So if I search for iReviews here, it will show me basically whether that name is free or not on any of these social medias. You can see I won't be able to have that name on any of these, just these three right here. So all the popular ones of, are, are of course taken. You can just like that, go ahead and search easily for any username without having to go through the hassle of setting up an account. And then it basically shows you that the name is taken. You can just go ahead and test it out right here. The next app for the video is called Freakin' Word. Now this might be very useful for students. So it basically allows to enter any text you want here simply by pasting the text and then you can go ahead and search for any word you want. So if you want to count the words, just tap right there and it will show you the words, how many words have been used on that text. And you will see right here each word and it shows you basically from the one that has been used the most to the one the least and it shows you how many times that word has been used on that text that you have paste here very simple to use pretty basic but it might be very very helpful for a lot of people and last but not least is qr fast pass it allows you to have a qr code on the home screen of your device like tap right here change qr code you can import from your photos or use custom text right here and basically have set a qr code by home screen widgets right here on your home screen so anytime you need to scan your qr code faster you don't have to dig around on your photos app or any other app you will have it right here on your home screen and of course that will make it that much easier for you to basically scan any QR code that you need on daily basis directly from the home screen of your iPhone. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are eight apps that I believe are super useful and iPhone users must have them on their device. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like on the video and I'll see you on the next one.